Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel Developing Prospects Baseball. Today we have a very special video designed to help you guys make your baseball teams. Whether that's your travel ball team, whether that's your high school team, whether that's your middle school team, we just wanted to give you guys, based on our personal experience, how to make those teams and things that we as coaches both look for. Yeah, we're gonna jump into key pointers that we've noticed over the years of tryouts that we've actually gone to. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First thing we're going to jump into is the first thing that we notice as coaches. We've coached high school baseball for three or four years now, and we've also done sports and showcases, and we've just seen a lot of players not have the proper dress. The first thing we're going to look at as coaches is what are you guys wearing? Now, what you guys wear is not always the most important thing, but it does really show that you guys are there and you know what you're doing. Again, baseball is a sport that is all about looking the part, not only playing the part, but looking the part. We want to see that you're dressed in proper baseball attire so that way we know that you guys have that background and have played baseball. We're going to give you guys a little bit of a demonstration on exactly what to wear. So I bet you guys never thought you would see Coach Shane and I wearing our baseball pants, wearing our full gear. We just wanted to demonstrate and show you guys really quickly the proper attire to help you guys make your high school baseball team. The first thing you'll notice obviously is Coach Shane has a hat on. You'd be surprised at how many kids come out to our tryouts or come out to make a baseball team without wearing a hat. That's something that's super important. Also, athletic shirt, pretty simple. Um, he's got his pants on. That's another huge key is wearing pants. We get a lot of kids, especially at my high school, that come out and try out with shorts on, with jeans on. Go out there and get you guys a pair of baseball pants and also a nice pair of athletic shoes, whether that's cleats or trainers. You guys can decide. You don't necessarily have to have cleats. Check with your coach, see what he really wants you guys to bring when you come out there to make your baseball team. It's really important to make sure we're dressed appropriately, not only because we look at those things, and just so you guys, I wanna reiterate, it, you don't have to have all of this stuff to make your baseball team. We look at talent first, and we look at the ability of the player, but look is important because we wanna see, because baseball is not only a game of having the abilities and tools, but it's a, it's a game of having knowledge and, know, and showing us that you know exactly what you can do. So that's what the gear helps us with. Is there anything else I kind of missed there, Coach Shane? Yeah, so one of the big things that we got to talk about too is having a belt. When we show up to the field, a belt is huge. It shows that, you know, we're being professionals. And with the belt, we have to make sure that our shirt is tucked in. We see a lot of kids, they show up to the field. They're not in their actual baseball attire yet. We see them changing the parking lots or we see them changing in the dugout. Make sure that when you show up to the baseball field, you're actually looking like a professional. You're ready to get out there and you're showing everyone that you're ready to, uh, you know, excel when it comes to, you know, tryouts, showing that we're ready to go. Uh, one of the other things too is having jewelry on, it's a no. We have to make sure that when we're talking about being a professional, when we show up to the baseball field, like I said, we're ready to go. So make sure if you do have jewelry, whether it's earrings, necklaces, try to take them off, take them off before anyone sees you with them on. Now that we got you guys dressed, now that we got you guys showing up, we're gonna be talking about tip number three, which is gonna be hustle. Coach Matt, you wanna talk about that for us? Yeah, so when we get to the field, so we wanna have a presence of I wanna be here. So showing up early shows us coaches that you guys wanna be here. And then hustling around the field really shows that enthusiasm for the love of the game. We want a player who really loves the game of baseball and by running and hustling, it really shows us exactly that you guys wanna be there. But what is hustle and what do we mean by that? That means that we're gonna run station to station. You know, when we make little mistakes or we're going to get water, we're going over here, we're gonna hustle, okay? We're not gonna have a bad attitude no matter what happens. The hustle leads us into tip number four. Tip number four is going to be when we make mistakes, so let's say we're doing infield, right? Coach Shane hits you, hits you a ground ball and you go up and you make that mistake, you bobble that ground ball. Then all of a sudden you get mad, you get ticked, you get back in line. That as a coach really makes us look like, oh my gosh, like this guy really can't handle himself. This is too much pressure for him. We really just wanna make sure that when you guys make that error or you make that mistake, just jump back in line. So you're gonna hustle all the way around. Then tip number four is when you make that mistake, really um, bounce back from it. You wanna add anything to that? Yeah, we want you guys to understand that errors to us as coaches when it comes to tryouts mean absolutely nothing. As long as we see a guy, we're looking for fundamentals. We wanna see a guy that's gonna work hard. We wanna see a guy that's taking the initiative to take his ground balls nice and easy. If he messes up, we're looking to make the next play even better. We are looking, which I wanna emphasize, we are looking when you have a trial, we want the guy that's gonna be the best for the week. 
Baseball is a day where the worst player on your team can show up and get three hits and get completely lucky, right? Luck happens in baseball, stuff happens. But we want a player who's going to look good the whole week. You know, if he makes a mistake, screw up, bounce back, get the next one. You know, he, he strikes out, that's okay, he gets the next one. We wanna see those players that put together a full week or three days or a full day of tryouts to really find the best players and the kids with the right attitudes to fit our program. So now we're gonna be jumping into tip number five. Tip number five is gonna be actually being respectful. And what we mean by that, and Coach Matt can agree to this, when we as coaches, we show up to the field, we wanna see professionals like we've talked about already through this video. But what we wanna to see towards the end of the tryout is eye contact from these players, shaking our hands, and when they do this stuff, we wanna actually know that they mean it. They're not just doing this because everyone else is doing this, but they're doing it because they mean it and they actually have that professionalism. Matt, you wanna jump on that at all? Yeah, the respect point again comes from, we want men in our program, we want kids, what I mean by we want men is we want people that are respectful and kids that have some kind of uh, responsibility to who they are as a person. Again, when we bring a player onto our baseball team, they're a representation of our team. So when we are getting kids to our team, we want them to have good core values that we can basically see right off the bat. And by doing things such as eye contact, so when I'm talking to the player, they give eye contact back to me. When those players are responding back, you know, maybe it's a little extreme, but saying like, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, coach, no coach, those things really mean a lot to us. And the third thing is, is when that practice is over, go ahead and shake that coach's hand and tell him thank you for that day. Again, if they come up to you and they say that, that kind of lets us know and it stands out that these kids are respectful and they're thankful for our time. Because again, everything we do on the baseball field is, uh, is a privilege and it's a privilege for them to be there to try out for us. The last thing, which is something that probably nobody talks about, is the waiting till the last minute to get your work in for that trial. We know you guys have prepared a lot over the course of your lives when you're coming to this trial. We know you've practiced, we know you've grown up doing sports, grown up doing baseball, but we just wanted to reemphasize not waiting till the last minute. Coach Shane, what do you see once tryout time happens, especially for your realm where, you got, where you're doing a lot of private lessons and working at those cage facilities? Yeah, so every time baseball season comes around and it comes to uh, when baseball tryouts are actually happening, all the cages that I actually work out, they all start getting packed. More and more kids are trying to get lessons and they're all trying to cram everything in last minute. One of the hardest things about baseball is the actual, you know, being nervous when it when it comes to showing up to the baseball field. You trying to cram everything in last minute is only going to make everything so much worse when it actually uh, when you get out to that baseball tryout. Yeah, I'll leave you guys with this for the last thing about trying out. It's just trust your abilities. When you get out to that field, just show the coaches how good you really are. You know, your parents believe in you. I'm sure some of your friends believe in you as a baseball player and as an athlete. You've grown up your entire life playing baseball. And even if this is just a tryout for your local Little League team or just your tryout for your travel ball team, just trust your abilities and really just give it all you got out there. We thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked all of that content or even some of that content, go ahead and leave a like down below. And if you want to see future videos to help videos that we make to help you guys for the future. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos.